This episode is about joy. I'm Rachel Keefe, and this is Monday's Muse. We are now in the third week of Advent. Traditionally, this is the week we celebrate joy. Joy of the anticipation of Christ breaking into the world anew. But it's a joy that looks forward and looks back. We look forward with anticipation. We look back with the joy of knowing what it is like for God to be in the world. It's a good Sunday to remind us ourselves that we worship the one who is, was, and is yet to come. Joy is an interesting thing these days because we have this immediate gratification need in our society. And we mistake happiness for joy more often than not. We feel these warm, fuzzy feelings and we think they're joy. Most of the time, they're happiness. I think of the difference as being happiness comes from the outside. Things that are fleeting and passing bring us happiness. Joy comes from the inside. And in the Christian context, joy is particularly grounded in our relationship with God, that we are God's beloved and we love God in return. This creates joy. And joy lasts no matter what is happening in the world. All the things that make us cry and break our hearts and make us have this sense of hopelessness about the future of the world. Those things cannot take away joy. Joy is always with us once it's been awakened in us from the very fact that we are God's beloved. When we take time to ground ourselves and reground ourselves in that fact, joy springs up anew. It never goes away. It never diminishes, though the events of this world and the events in our lives can certainly overshadow it. Joy is lasting. That when we can sit still with ourselves and come into God's presence, we know that joy. So take some time this week to celebrate the things that bring you joy. I have it a bit easy because I celebrate my wedding anniversary this week, and that is always a reminder of joy. Love and joy often go hand in hand. Bring a little joy into the world. Remember that we anticipate God's coming with joy and that no event in the world can take your joy away. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next week.